So with this project, I wanted to try building a layered, like sort of atmospheric scene using grease pencil, combining some 3D elements. And I also wanted to just try out Blender 2.3 Alpha, which has a feature where the grease pencil layers are affected by Blender lights, which is a really exciting and fun thing uh, to be able to experiment with. So to start off with, I put together a small concept sketch just to get an idea of what kind of atmosphere I wanted and for the composition. And I started out putting together some 3D blocks to create the shape of the scene that I wanted. Then I subdivided and sculpted some of the topology of the riverbanks. I did the same for the cliff face and I added some lighting that I thought showed off the uh, topology of the cliff face world. I then added in some planes as references for where the waterfalls were going to go and uh, I added some color to the 3D elements and I added a tune shader uh, to give it a kind of 2D look. Then I built some rough architecture for the ruins in the background. I then wanted to create a sort of dramatic lighting effect. I added a large plane to cast a shadow across the, the scene. I then started adding in some of the grease pencil elements, uh, starting out with some grass, starting off simple, and I duplicated or, and redrew a few patches of grass and placed them around the scene. So I wanted to animate the waterfall to make it look like it's flowing. So I keyframed some shiny spots on the surface of the water on the grease pencil layer and I looped those frames over and over. I redrew the waterfall in grease pencil, getting rid of the 3D planes I had there before. I, and I lowered the opacity on uh, the, that grease pencil layer so that you can see through the water. I then uh, added some form, animated form, at the foot of each of the waterfalls. And I also wanted to add a sort of mist across the whole area. I lowered its opacity. I blurred it out with uh, a grease pencil effect. And uh, to animate this, I decided to sculpt the layer that I already had instead of redrawing it just to make it flow better. I then duplicated uh, the mist effect and pushed it more into the background to add another layer of mist. I then added a glow effect to the waterfall grease pencil object just to make them stand out more. Just re repositioning some of the elements for composition sake. Now I'm adding another grease pencil layer with some trees uh, further in the background. Balancing it out with some trees on the other side. And adding uh, some branches, a little bit more shrubbery. And I then added uh, a grease pencil shadow effect with a little bit of an offset so that uh, it looks like the trees are casting a shadow. And then I started playing around with animating the camera just to see what it looks like to go through the scene with the camera. I then decided to try animating some ripples on the surface of the water. Add a little bit of reflection on the water in some places. And then add, um, add a little bit more shrubbery. I wanted to make the trees in the background a little bit more 3D. So I rotated these grease pencil layers to add a little bit more dimension to them. So just to see how um, the grease pencil lights were affecting the, the image, I just removed the lighting for a bit. So you can see what it looks like with and without the lighting. I added another little point light just to add a little bit more brightness at one point in the water. And I animated a little bit more um, of a shine on the waterfall. I wanted to add a couple like living organisms moving things to the scene just to add, uh, give it a little bit more life. So I animated these little, little flying dragons using flying flamingos as references, just adding some color and some shading. I took a long time figuring these guys out. I then keyframed uh, the dragon to fly across the scene. I duplicated the dragon and made a little flock of them 
and offset the animation of the movement and the flapping of the wings to make sure that they fly, flew at different speeds and didn't look too in sync. I played it around a little bit more with the animation on the camera to smoothen it out a bit. And added a little bit more randomness to the movement of the dragons. And I also made a few of the dragons fly behind the waterfall to create a sense of overlap and depth. I still wanted to add yet more depth and dimension to the trees, so I ma uh, made a bunch of little shrubs on grease pencil layers and then just rotated them and placed them around the trees just to build it up volumetrically a little bit. And I added a few stray leaves here and there and fleshed out the trunks and the shrubs around them a little bit more. And I played around with the lighting and the colors a little bit uh, until I was satisfied with the final result. And now it's time to see what the final video looks like. 